A oh. number cruncher, yeah. like an abacus. Yeah, I'm not gonna be that guy. No. Not gonna use an abacus at work every day. Not gonna sit there in front of the Excel spreadsheet and add up, you know, how much corporate loss we have and what the mm -hmm. net gain is. I don't even know. Oh, what business a terms. lot of business terms. You're yeah. just throwing out terms. I thought yeah, you what, really... What's the Venn diagram intersecting right, with this right, parallelogram right, right, do? Of course, of course. No. Um, you sound like someone that has a business background. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a conversation with Colin. I'm Greg, and this is my roommate, Colin. Now, sometimes Colin says crazy stuff. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I reach into my random topic pile, pull one out, toss it at him, and we talk it out for your amusement. If you like that, like the video, subscribe, share this video with your friends so everyone can see how crazy this Colin guy is. Colin, you ready? Yes. Today's topic of conversation is, what would your life be like without video games? This is from at Coco Adisha. No, Jabber, Jabber, Jabber. Mm, that's an interesting name. What, what ethnicity is that name? Coco Adisha. I don't want to be racist and take a guess. That, that, so that, your pronunciation know. of that name wasn't racist I'm going to guess all, he's so. Netherlandian. Another Netherlandian. So Dutch. Sure. Okay. Um, what would my life be without video games? What would your life, yeah, what's life without video games like for you? Obviously, we work in the video game realm. That's our day job when we're not here busting it out at the kitchen table. Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. Uh, what would it be like? Uh, you, you went to school for American history. Yeah. I'm guessing that's, that stays the same. Unless Mega Man somehow inspired American history. I tried to time together many times, it just didn't work. Um, I don't know, it would be very different. It would be, it would be, it's impossible to even imagine my life. Well, that's, let's do it. That's what he's asking you to do. Uh, I mean, I started playing video games when I was very, very young. I mean, one of right. the, some of my earliest memories is a two, three, four year old are playing NES games. So wipe those from um, your brain. You watch TV instead. Yeah, I mean, like, when you think about our childhood, like right in the mm -hmm, 80s mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and like in the early 90s, playing that Master like system. everyone played video games, right? That was right. like a thing, right? Like yeah. that was a thing like that everyone did. Now more people obviously play games today, but it seemed like within, encapsulated in our age group where like everyone was playing games, whether it was on the NES or Master System yeah. or Atari 2600 or 5200, like um, people were playing games. So uh, that like transcended my entire life. I have always been a gamer. Um, there was a moment in college, actually about a year in college where um, I was freelancing for IGN, uh, but I rarely played games that like, were not mm. for work. Um, I was just going in a different direction at that time. I was actually working at Massachusetts Historical Society and kind of doubling down on academia and stuff like that. And um, I remember that that was a specific year when like um, Resident Evil 4 came out and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I oh, think. Sure, San Andreas. And, some, and a few other games that I bought, but like those were the only games I played not for work, not for freelancing. Uh, but then I got you know way back into it. and. I it's mean, always been there. We yeah. always had that I don't know. It's, point, it's, right? it's impossible to imagine that. See, I don't think it is. For me, for, for me, the big turning point was, you know, I was totally a Sega kid growing up. Finally bought an N64. And somewhere in the N64 era, I felt my star, I started to lose super interest. I had a conversation with somebody, conversation with some other douchebag I don't live with now. And we didn't film it for YouTube because YouTube didn't exist. Mm -hmm. But I, it was that I thought that, you know, games weren't maturing with me at this point. And, you know, what if Mario is always going to be what games are and then... I don't want to do Mario anymore. I don't want to be part of Mario. And so then I started, you know, looking into other interests, more magazines, stuff like that, writing a little bit more. And it wasn't until Metal Gear Solid on PS1 that I was like, okay, this makes sense. Like, I, this is the experience I want. These are the adult kind of stories I want, the cinematic experience I kind of want. But to look back, and if I drifted away from N60, if N64 had turned me off or whatever, and I had never come back, I think, you know, I would have probably gone down a road of comics. I think I, mm -hmm. that would have been more of it for me. Maybe I would have gone to work, try to work for Wizard Magazine one day, write about the business of comics and what comics are. Because, you know, comics are the same way as games, right? They kind of infect a whole bunch of different spheres, right? There's a comic for whatever mood you're in for that day. It doesn't always have to be no. superheroes. Right. It can go off and be something really in-depth, really serious. I think that's where I would end up, probably. I, I, I always, grew, growing up, I always knew that I didn't want a boring desk job, right? I was never going to be somebody, like, using a number cruncher or whatever. I don't even know what the hell. A number work. cruncher? Yeah. Like an abacus? Yeah, I'm not going to be that guy. No. not going to use an abacus at work every day. not going to sit there in front of the Excel spreadsheet and add up, you know, how much corporate loss we have and what the mm -hmm. net gain is. I don't even know. Oh, what business terms. A lot of business terms. You're just yeah. throwing out terms. I yeah, you what, really what's the Venn diagram intersecting right, with this right, parallelogram right, 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 right. do? Of course, of course. No. Um, you sound like someone that has a business background. Thank you. I, I, I'm, I, I consider myself one of the best actors on YouTube. I don't really know much about YouTube. I just leave that to you. Uh, <laughs> All right, so let's what you would have let, let's say, you know, you lost interest you, in college on video games, and you kept going with American history. Mm -hmm. You think you'd be what a professor, or a lawyer? Or I'd have my PhD by now. Yeah. So I mean, like when I got my, when I was offered my job at IGN, uh, I had just I had I was offered a job at IGN um, about a week and a half after I graduated college. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and at that time, I was already in conversations and had gotten basically my, um, I was like matriculating into grad school. I never even actually applied. Like they were like, just start and apply 
like do the application after the fact. Like you can still take classes like you're here and we like you. And yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna TA for a, a pretty prolific professor. I was working for like a really pro prolific American historian uh, at Mass Historical Society. And so like that was like the direction my life was going. Um, and at that point I had, I could have done my grad degree in about 18 months and then like my PhD would have taken a couple of years. So like I would have had my PhD by now. Now would I have ever had a job? The, the famous thing is like you know, half of PhDs in American history never find a job in the field. So. Um, you know, that might have been a shadow of luck in that sense. But yeah, my, li my life would have stayed in academia. I feel like I, I reached a, f a really prolific fork in the road when I was 22 years old. And I took a path. Uh, I have no regrets, you mm -hmm. know, about mm -hmm. that path. I wonder about the other for like sure. the other path that I didn't take. Um, that, you know, everyone's like, you can always go back to school and stuff like that. You really can't. Um, you really can't always go back to school. And it's not like because you can't get in or can't do the work. It's just like it's not practical when you're 28 years old to drop your everything you do and, and and, and take a different path, but I consider myself an academic and an intellectual at that time, and um, I'm still into those things, you know, but, and I'll never lose that side of me, but, like, gaming is a huge part of my life and always has been. See, like, you talk about, like, comics and all these things, like, I was never into comics. I never gave a shit about comic books. Yeah, you, know? you were like, raised I wrong, your parents were wrong, they sucked, they fucked everything up for you. They did, they really did, my parents were great. Um, and, like, my, my connection to nerd culture, like, everyone has their different connection, right? Like, my yeah. brother's was, like, anime and video games. And, like, mine was games and TV. And other people have, like, comic books and movies and stuff. Like, that is, like, my major conduit to nerd culture. And without it, like, it would, I would not be who I am. You know? I would not have the appreciation for the things I have the appreciation for now. Because uh, I appreciate comics even if I... Um, know nothing about know them. nothing about them. You know, like, like Jon Snow. Know nothing. Yeah, Jon Snow. Jon Snow. It's a reference. Game of Thrones mm. fans out there. So yeah, that's that's basically it. It's actually kind of sad to think about your life without a game. It is. It's very sad. But thank you for your question, Coco Beware. It was a pleasure. If you have a question or a topic you want to see Colin discuss, let us know in the comments below. Then make sure you come back every Tuesday and Thursday for a new topic of conversation. Subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. All that jazz. But until next time, have a conversational day. You want to talk about a character? <laughs> you, want, you want to talk about a character that was made to make a fucking Kenner toy? Then we'll talk about Grievous. It's like, oh, how many lightsabers can we give this fucking jackass?